Welcome back guys to Akami, we're here up in Wepkir village. We've been given a task to do, a charm to get was it not, towards the lake. And the lake was not down where I was heading, though we did manage to explore everything. And actually looking at my straight bees chart, I have 48 now and all of them Wepkir village, so that's gone pretty well. So after doing all the little weird bits around here, like rolling a giant snowball, we head out to the lake as they say, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I am pretty actually proud to have been able to pick up so many, so many. Stray beads, nearly 50. And it's only halfway, of course, but still. So we head up to the Izo Fuji part. Kamui. Right then, onwards. So there seems to be more shrines and. More treasure chests, of course. You obtained another civilization. Scroll draw my wandering artist. Let us read, let us read indeed. Modern Nippon offers mysteries that cannot be easily explained. Devices that even scholars in the capital are unable to decipher. Stone artifacts that endow the wearer with special abilities. They afford to be evidence of a civilization beyond our own. My great grandfather spoke often of such matters. He had traveled to the windy plains of Taka Pass for brush training. While there, he noticed a strange light tracing an arc in the sky. The light eventually settled in the area of Sasa Sanctuary. Great Grandfather traveled there the following day, where the light had landed. He saw a mysterious symbol floating in midair. It is not uncommon to hear such tales repeated here in Nippon. Whether one believes in this otherworldly civilization or not, it would seem that many among us certainly want to believe. I'm not ashamed to say I count myself among their ranks. Does that not be talking about Kaguya? If my English right, does that not be talking? If you sound, like, intelligent while you're saying it, you can say anything completely wrong. And still be cool. This is the altar where the sacred sword Katoni was enshrined. It has a great view of Laochi Lake and Izafuji from here. That's why they come here to pray to the mountains each year. Too bad the sacred sword isn't here now. The altar is also dedicated to the Ark of Yamato. It's said the Ark has been frozen in Laochi Lake for countless ages. Look! You can see it down there in the frozen lake. That's the Ark of Yamato. He's a Fuji in the Ark of Yamato. This is a very sacred place to the Uina tribe. I'm sure it may be. What is going on here? Can I melt it with the fire that's all around? Can I four things out? Questions, questions. Let's get exploring. It was the charm that was up this way, it said. I thought, I thought. I thought I saw a putty cat. There are platforms around, however. We can at least go check out the surrounding area a bit more. But to be honest, if we're after something, it's gonna be hidden away. Can I even head up onto those platforms? That's a question. Oh, we can indeed if we use a blossom, it seems. We'll head up, we need fire to do one. Ice to do the other. Well, we could use Deluge or Rainfall, but of course we could just blow it away as well. And another straight B. That makes 49. We're one away from 50. Keep going with this pace, Sam. Get those straight beads, every single one. A bit weird I might not have wanted to get out yet, but no edge glass. Brilliant. What is inside this rock? Any secret hidden? No. No siree, Bob. You never know if there is any secret hidden. You have it in not daytime. Not daytime is a good time. It's often called nighttime, but not daytime will work for me. It will indeed. Oh, and there's more blossoms going up higher. Any this way? No. So we can't make it over to that platform. He says, thinking about it. I'm just trying to see if you can see on top of it. Not really. Well, I've all said and done. All these blossoms are facing the right way for us just to be able to use them as platforms as well. So let's have a look around. For a clover, it seems. We'll take you. Hello, monkeys as well. And I've regained all my seed pouches and whatnot. Most importantly, the fish. For all the bears and the cranes. And my white crane block. Let's do this. Yet another clover. Give me some praise. Now, are there any more locations to travel across? Travel to. Let's have a look around here. It doesn't seem like it. Is that my all my travelling for now? If 
I look around ever higher, is there any other place to get up? Or down? You never know which way to go. No, it doesn't seem like anything good is around here anymore. That's a shame, that's a shame. I was hoping for more secret ways upwards. Onwards and upwards and ever higher. All right, with that said and done, time to go back down, isn't it? Now, pulling myself from place to place seems to be a faster way to do it. Let's land down and have a look around the ship, the Ark of Yamato. Maybe there's a way inside or something like that. Spirit of exploration, it comes out in me quite well at times like this. Though it seems I can't make it even to climb on it as it is in the moment. That's no good for me. I want to explore, I want to see a brave new world. To seek out new life and civilizations. To boldly go where no god has gone before. And stuff like that. What's with these big blocks of ice there in the middle of nowhere? Can I bomb them or something? Nope. Well, in the meantime, there does seem to be a path upwards and round a bit more. Just wondering if there's any more cherry blossomy type things to be able to lift me up on high. No, it seems like nothing else interesting around on the ice. Anything in this gap here? Gaps are usually a cause for hidden things, but no, it doesn't seem like it. Make sure we don't crash and lose our speed, though of course on ice, speed doesn't really equate to much. This already changed time? How long have I been running about out here? How long indeed? I'm guessing I can't head up on this wall area, no. No way up over there, just round to that side. Well, let's follow the path at last, we've done a little bit of explorationing. We got ourselves another stray bead, so I'm happy. I was hoping there'd be more secrets out there, to be honest. More than what we saw, anyway. Hello, little foxes, was that? No, raccoons! Oh my goodness! I just saw their tail, that was all. I thought they were a different colour than that, honest. Move, Sam, move! Excuse me, pardon me, out the way. We got places to see, people to explore. I thought we were coming out here for something, a charm. Would you like to be fed as well, sir? I feed all the animals. The singular animals don't really get you a lot of praise, do they? Don't net you much at all. I wonder how many treasures there were up this pathway if I was paying attention a bit more. And it seems there is a house up on high. And more blossoms to go around? Okay then. Well, hello! Who are you? I know who you are! I don't know who you are! Yes, that divine look of yours is unmistakable! You're the legendary white wolf Shiranui, aren't you? Wow, they've heard that name here too! Well, I suppose Shiranui's legend did travel across the sea to Kamui. Guess it really resonates with the Uena, because it's so spiritual. Oh, Eason! It's been quite a while, so you're still alive! Uena Shaman Tuskull! Haha, I ain't ready to kick the bucket yet! I just left on a little trip, that's all! Well, I'm glad to see you safe. As you can see, we haven't been so lucky here in Kamui. Since the monsters were revived, many people have lost their lives. Yeah, I've heard all about it. So what's up with those demons coming back? And where the heck is Laika? Hmm... The demons have shut themselves up in Izafuji's Waoku Shrine. They're responsible for the fierce blizzard raging throughout Kamui. We're managing to keep some of it at bay thanks to Athen Gate. But when the day comes, Kamui is sure to freeze over completely. That's not what worries me most though. What worries me is how the demons were revived in the first place. Kemu noticed this as well, but just before the demons made their return, a dark force travelled here from the southern land. We both felt an evil energy flowing into Kimuri. That's when the demons woke up as if in response to it. Southern land? Oh, she must mean Nippon! 
In other words, she's talking about the return of Orochi Ami. There have been so many monsters here in Kamui. Some people even call it the birthplace of evil. I can't help thinking all this havoc in Nippon has its root in Lauchi Lake, the eternally frozen lake at the foot of Izofuji. Really, you say? Tell us more, tell us more! There is a large lake called Lauchi at the foot of Izofuji. Yes, we were just walking on it, I think. I think the reason Kamui is called the birthplace of evil is because of the Ark of Yamato that rests in that lake. The Ark of Yamato? Anyone from Kamui knows that story? It's said that the legendary Iron Ark fell from the heavens. My grandpa used to tell me that story. Long, long ago in the Age of Myths, an Iron Ark fell from the Celestial Plain above and sunk into Lauchi Lake. The Celestial Plain is the land above where gods dwell. The gods are known as Celestials there. The Ark that the Celestials were on came crashing down to this land. It was as if they were being chased by something. What they didn't know was that on board with them were countless monsters. One by one, they were consumed till all the Celestials were dead. Once the Ark crashed, the monsters disembarked and started ravaging the lands. The world hasn't been safe since. They said the monsters still rise from the lake's depths. That must be why they call it the Lake of Demons. That's about all I know about it. Hmm, I do have one thing to add to that. And that's the story of the one surviving Celestial of the Ark. Ah, Kaguya possibly? The Ark fell to this world from the Celestial Plane. It was full of monsters which killed the Celestials on board. But the legend tells that there was one man, ah man, not a woman then, who survived. He managed to escape from the hell that the Ark had become. He then fled going into hiding somewhere in our world. Are those the Celestials? Hmm. First time I've heard that, I'm going hmm for another reason. I think I may figure out who they're talking about. They say the reason monsters still emerge from the Ark in Lauchi Lake is that the ruler of darkness is still searching for that man. Ruler of darkness? Does he have a name? It's all just a legend. No one knows if it's true or not. No one has ever set foot on it. But the Ark brought tragedy to our world, that's for sure. The powers of darkness in the world are gathering Kamui. I believe it's because the Ark of Yamato is beckoning them. Hmm? I apologize for chatting so much. Now, if you've come all this way, how am I to assume you have Kamui's permission? I speak of permission to enter Yoshpet, the forest of confusion. Yep, that's right. I really couldn't care less, but Ami hears another story. The entrance of the forest is sealed with the arena crest. It's our way of protecting the place from evil. There's no way that I can break the seal, but if the Elder has ordered your entry, then I must comply. Shiranui, you may have the Uina amulet, Sewa Prolo. Wow, hard things to pronounce, Sewa Prolo? Hmm. With that amulet, you can pass by the Uina crest unhindered, and you can proceed on into Yoshpet. If the Elder has deemed it to be right, there can be no mistake. You are the one who can find Laika. Find her before it's too late, and Kamui freezes over. We will do. Thank you for the charm. Oh, is it something that we have to equip? Is it something that we have to equip? No, already on, already good. We can go. No, most importantly, we did notice a little something something off to the side here. Now, where will this lead? That's what I wish to know. Do we need to bring water up on high over here? That's a question. But is there any other blossoms that want us to travel around? Or is this just a way down below over there? Now there is a clover here, or more than one clover in fact, but I'm just wondering if I'm supposed to fill this place up with water. The treasure on top of that? Stray beads? Indeed, number 50 is found, number 50 is ours. Halfway. Halfway, and don't worry, I'm not gonna forget to blossom that. Let's try and do- oh, there's another blossom over there, so maybe we can keep going to even more places. Interesting. Let's try for a double bloom this time. Got them both. Got them both. Break that down, see if there's any treasures underneath. No, no siree, Bob. Stray beads, I'm happy. Now, can we head up higher or something? 
Let's have a look around here. Yes, there's one over there as well. And that brings us up over here. So I thought there'd be more places to climb up higher. Oh, we've actually got ourselves a sun dragon as well. Brilliant. Let through these bright fragments and increase our solar energy yet again. Night time come. Aid us because there must be more treasure up on high here. There must be more secret treasures hidden in the snow. And if there isn't, boo-hoo! Where are we headed though? Aha! Treasures indeed, and more clovers. Now that treasure wouldn't have been hard to see, to be honest. They stand out a little bit better. Oh, another straight feed! 51! Go me! Grabbing them all, the way I like to. Pick this clover as well. You may not have guessed, but that has made me extremely happy. It has indeed. Now, is there any other clovers to go to, or is that it for our exploration session? I think it may be. Let's jump out onto the frozen lake and get a move on, because now we have the charm. We know what location to head to. The map has denoted it. My goodness, did I manage to pick up... I'm going to have to check, guys. I'm going to have to check. Did I manage to pick up all the stray bees for this area, or is there another one around? You never know. I've got a solid block of completed ones here. There is one more here. One more. Where it may lie, I don't know. But we will get it next time because I'm pretty sure we're going to be heading back through. No problemo. I wonder if it was up on that ledge that I thought I could see. Hmm. Well, you won't check right now. I'm just happy to... Well, we blasted past 50 and headed into the 51 territory. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Surely you can just sneak through here. No door stops me. Out and back down. Into the proper part of Kamui. I hope no one's going to stop us now that we have this charm. Someone seems to be having their little problemy thing. But we're just going to ignore and jump. Jump! Where I've just headed with that jumping? Okay, right down to the center of town. Hello! How did it go with Kemu? Did he want to talk to you about something? It was a little more than a leisurely talk. He were asked to go look for Lyka in Light Yoshpet. Yoshpet? You mean the forest in the east? I don't think anyone's been there to look for her yet. Well, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, that forest isn't exactly a prime tourist spot. Ethan, are you really going to go back there? Who says I'm going back? I was using the royal we. I was talking about Furble here. Josh Pet is like another world. Get lost and you might never return. But don't you worry. Ami here will fight Laika. If that's the case, I'll lead the way. What? I know you must be worried, Ethan, but we haven't got much time. What do you mean? The demons are waiting for the day of darkness. It's a solar eclipse that occurs once every 100 years. Kamui will be in total darkness for a whole day when it happens. Without sunlight and with the demon blizzards going on. No living thing in Kamui will be able to survive the day. There are only a few days into the Day of Darkness. If Lyka's not here to recite the volcanic incantation by then... Do I have a time limit again? Amaterasu, you're no ordinary wolf, are you? Kemu wouldn't have asked you to do this otherwise. Maybe you're the reincarnation of the White Wolf Shibanui. You must be very strong if you can cope with Eason. And your point is? Sorry, anyway, there's no time to lose. I'll lead you into the forest, Amaterasu. Come when you're ready. I'm going ahead to the edge of the forest. Only a few days left makes it sound extremely scary to me. As I was about to go for more hunting monsters on that wanted list. But the main point in that was that someone said there was another treasure or something. The mysterious forest of Yoshpet. The entrance has been sealed up by the Uina Crest. They did that to protect it from the monsters in these parts. That forest originally had its own power that kept them away. But I wonder if Yoshpet has lost its power. After all, no place is safe from evil in this land now. I'm sure it isn't. Am I under time limits? Or can I successfully go and hunt? Because, as I was about to say, there is a treasure to be found. Another power, supposedly. Back where the Guardian Sapling was. And also, I've got the tip now that I can get these guys out by using Deluge. As I say, I always say that ha knowing is half the battle. But man, Deluge is good if it does that. Don't you be going underground though, or hitting me with any kind of lasers. Not good. I wonder if you don't like Deluge then as your floor finisher. Well, we don't see any 
Demon Fangs come out. Supposedly, I think and some enemies have multiple floral finishes. It's always a thing to check out, but we're looking for bounties more than anything. Our location where we want to be heading is over there. But in the meantime, mm -mm -mm -mm, supposedly powers and treasures and everything around here. Is there treasure there then? There is one up here. Jump and make it. Hello, white cranes. Don't be all scared. Want to feed you some lovely fish? Grab hold of this treasure and hope it's another stray bee. Please be a stray bee. Please do a bee. bee. Come on, bee. Ah, I feel so let down. You obtained the amethyst tassels. A purple hue encourages amorous and sultry feelings. So we're going to hunt for some monsters as well as hunt for these power-up spots next episode. And then step forward over into what seems to be Yoshpet. Join me for more coming next time and I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.